Are you used to this hey. energy everywhere you go? No, I'm not. I appreciate <laughs> this. This is that New Year energy. I take you it. You feel that New Year energy? I take it. Love the red. I, that's why I put the jacket on. I ain't want a double red on you. See, see, you, see, you gave it to nice. me, though. It looks nice. Now, I just saw you not too long ago at the Grio Awards. Yeah, I had I co-hosted the Grio Awards. You came out and did a wonderful, wonderful Mariah Carey in front of Mariah Carey. Oh. Mariah Carey in front of Mariah Carey. I know. That's tough. Do, are you, do you get nervous still? Yes. Yes. Like singing somebody else's song in front of that person. Oh my God, when they like right here up on you. Did you look at Mariah Carey? Did oh, you I, I gave her a peek <laughs> and then it's like, MC, MC, I gotta get these words right. Let me just, you know, cause it's from the heart. You perform yeah. a lot for people with your comedy and things yeah, like that. Eddie Murphy was there, I was horrified. Oh my God, what was that like for you? That horror, I ain't look at him, I don't know. You can't look at him. I don't know if Eddie Murphy th think I'm funny or not. I didn't want to know the truth. <laughs> It was too scary. It is. Yeah, but so, it's good to be here. I, it, it's so good to have you back. We had such a good time last time. Yeah. And you recently had a birthday? Yep, 45. 45? 45. How you feel about 45, though? I, I, I'm, I'm OK. I'm OK. My, 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 everything is still functioning. My, my, my check engine light ain't on me. I, I feel all right. You know why? Because I got a, that, that boy, that seven-year-old, he ride that bike. I got to ride the bike with him. So you ride the bike with him? I ain't got son. no choice. It's either lose weight or he just be up the street. <laughs> so I got to ride with him. So yeah, that, thankfully, you know, New York City is the type of city where you have to walk most places right. anyway. It's not convenient. Because mm. the, the traffic, it's not convenient to get a cab. So it's quicker to walk. And then we do the bike on the west side, on the west side, bike lanes. I was gonna ask. I don't want you to think I got my boy in the middle of the I Broadway. was gonna ask that, like, are you on the street or are you on the No, no, that's bike crazy lane? talk. That's crazy talk. We right there on the water, and not even right now, because it's cold. Mm. My son was like, you want to ride the bike? I was like, no, mm. do you want to get frostbite? <laughs> yeah. You go out there and do that. I'm gonna be in a house where it's warm. We can do two push-ups. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah. See, you fancy, I see. A little bit. You got the bike line, the beach, and all of that stuff, and you yeah. just congrats. You just got a nice apartment. Yeah, You just yeah, lost your first apartment. Yeah, that was a blessing. It really was. That was a blessing. How's that going? It's, it's okay because I'm so used to having landlords and just call, hey, come fix the thing that right. you're supposed to, that I pay you to fix. And then when you own it, there ain't nobody to call. It ain't. It's on you. You got to go to the hardware store. So I bought this TV stand and at the furniture store, and it's a really nice TV stand and yeah. floating bookshelf. And the dude at the furniture store, he goes, do you need any help? Do you need, do you need anybody to come over and help you install it? And the way he said it, he was testing me as a man. And I go, you know what? Oh, that's what you felt? I go, I don't need, you know what? I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody. I'm a man. I don't need nobody to help me install it. <laughs> I need somebody to help me install it. <laughs> I had to go down the hall and ask the handyman, hey, brother, would you come help it's me? It's OK. You can ask with some the, help. The thing. And I got it finished. It's done yeah. now. But it, OK. OK. It, it, this is a three-hour job that took How long did four, it take week, you? four weeks. Four weeks? Did your son help you? Four weeks, yeah. That's yeah. how it started out, because I was stacking stuff under the bookshelf to make it level, because I didn't want to call nobody to help me hold it. <laughs> I'm 45, I'm uh, a man. You gonna build, you gonna put it, like, do anything else in there yourself? No, I'm done you gonna for gonna call the year. somebody that's else inside? We, we done done, that's the furniture piece for the year. <laughs> for the year? That's it, next, next year we'll do a bookshelf. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Remember, the last time you were here, you were getting ready to host the White House Correspondents' Dinner? Yeah, yeah, that was a good. I remember you saying that last time. Yeah, I think I was here right before. How did that go? Uh, it went it went really well. It was a it was a really good time, and you know you can get in a room and roast government officials, and then don't get audited after the fact. And you don't be nervous to do that? Yeah, no. I only got to see them once. You're going to see Mariah Carey over and over again. <laughs> when I'm going to see Joe Biden again? I don't know, other than the campaign trail or something like that. That's but a good point. No, it was, it, was, it was dope to be there. Um, my mother went with me. Oh, that's nice. And, you know, I love my mom to death. And to be able to share a moment like that, that wow. special, to be in the room with her was amazing. And, you know, we talked about it a little bit before, but the only thing my mama wanted to do after the correspondence dinner was go see Diana Ross. Oh. She was doing, Diana Ross was doing a concert across yeah. town. And my mom texted me, good job. Good job. I'm going to see Diana Ross. You can't blame mom though, right? Yes, you can. 
I'm your son. I just did one of the hardest gigs in comedy. And my mom was like, yeah, baby, but, you know, th th this is my Beyonce. And she took off. All right, listen. That's true, that's true. For my mom's era, Diana Ross was, <laughs> she was everything. She was everything. So I can't blame mama for that. But I know she was there to give you all her support, right? For the most part. <laughs> Like, you know what my mama did? What'd like, she do? Like, and I, tell on your tell mama. Tell me, if you, do your folks do this? Like, when you go somewhere and it's a special, important gig for you, <laughs> but, so it's work for you. <laughs> yes. But your folks pull up and they go, so what we're doing this week? I'm at work. Right. Why are you asking me? Tourism, my mom will come up to me. I'm 10 minutes from going on stage to do this in front of the president. Where we going for breakfast tomorrow? See, <laughs> see, I got to Take me to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Can we discuss this in the morning, Mama? <laughs> it's not time. It's 9 o'clock at night. Why are you even thinking about breakfast? Right. I got a show to do. Yeah, it was too much. The president. It was too much. But I know, I know she loves me. My mama loves me, but... Yes, yeah, she does. You know, she's Everybody loves breakfast. you. We're all a fan, you know? Thank you. Thank you. You announced a few months ago that you were leaving a daily show. You know we said about that. Do you miss it at all? I miss my friends and my coworkers, but the job of political satire, year in and year out, it's a lot. Mm, I can imagine. It's a lot. And, you know, what was supposed to be, you know, originally, ah, a break and we'll see. And it was just like, nah, you know what, let me explore something in scripted or figure out a different way to do something in late night. And, yeah. you know, still figuring that part of the puzzle out. But, you know, with everything that's going on in the country right now, as we head to November, I do not envy anybody that's got to figure out a way every night on TV to make that funny. Mm. And I love the fact that I can just call all of my Daily Show co-workers and go... <laughs> <laughs> you you know. earned that, right? Yeah, I earned it. I earned it. But, you know, I, I miss my friends, but I definitely don't... I, I miss my friends, but the grind of figuring out the ways to make difficult things funny or easy more easily distilled for mm -hmm. the American public. It's not something that I take lightly. So I'm going to take this time, recharge, and then figure out where I'm at next after that. I think that's a smart choice. Yeah. I do. OK. Now, you grew up in the church like me, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now, you got involved in the church activities because I was there every day of the yeah. week. Yeah, shout out to Sixth Avenue Baptist in Come Birmingham. Come on. Shout out to First Baptist Angela in Yes. Yeah. Did you do the plays? I did, I did, I did, I was in the choir for like a month. See, I was it, in the choir. The, 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 my issue with choir was that it conflicted with all my sports practices. Mm. And you know, if you don't show up to choir practice, they don't let you sing on mm -hmm. Sunday. But the plays and the acting and being silly, I guess somebody in the church picked up on that and they would put me in the Easter play. You ever be in the Easter play but don't get the part? At church? Not all the children got a part in the church No, now. but that's the part you wanted. <laughs> like, I wanted to play Jesus, and they wouldn't let me play Jesus. Well, who you play? I played one of the Romans that killed Jesus. <laughs> they were, oh. Look, look at the knife. I still got the knife You had the knife? Yeah, they gave me the little plastic. That was, oh, like, your was like one of them Thundercat swords that you had back in the day. Hey, never <laughs> Look at the sadness on my face. I didn't want to kill Jesus. I wanted to be Jesus. Oh, my God. I, I understand. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> Lord help, maybe your son to get to be Jesus one year or something. <laughs> If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.